Hey, God bless you. Welcome to Third Day Worship Center website tutorial. I'm going to go over two things, major things with you. First, I'm going to go over the mobile version of our website, and then I will be going over our desktop version of the website. But we understand most people have mobile devices nowadays, so we will take you through the mobile device version of our website, thirddayworshipcenter.org. So it's 3RD dayworshipcenter.org and you're looking at it from the aspect of my iPhone and I don't know if you knew but if you turn your phone over if you have your settings on to screen rotate or display rotate you can literally see more by just switching your phone on the other end and we call this the landscape view of our mobile website thirddayworshipcenter.org but for um, these purposes I'll be Flipping it to vertical and landscape just to show you what we have available on our website. Amen. So we have Third Day Worship Center, the logo you see above the logo. We have Get in Touch. So you can connect with us, prayer requests, and donations. Those are very powerful ways that you can connect with us by way of our website. Then on the right side of the Third Day Worship Center logo, you have these three buttons or three lines. We call that our menu. If you click that, you will see what we have available on our website, home, about us, calendar, ministries, live stream, and contact us. For the purposes of this website tutorial, we'll be concentrating mainly on the live stream portion. So if you will go ahead and click the live stream, it will take you directly to our live stream page. This is what our live stream page looks like on a vertical view on a mobile device, whether you have a phone or, or a pad. But if you have another device like a uh, laptop, mobile devices like that, you will see it in the landscape view. So let's imagine that we're watching this from our pad or from our television. If you know how to mirror your phone onto your television, you'll be seeing this type of view, the landscape view. Okay, so get familiar with this because this is what we're going to be looking like going forward on our live streams. So as you can see, we have here ways to give online and that will be above the video for now as we have it positioned. This is the easiest way you can give. You can do your tithes and offering while you're watching the live stream. We have push pay, cash app and PayPal. These buttons are literal and they're active and available. So there you go with the uh, push pay. I just pressed the button and it went over. Cash app will show in a vertical. Uh, we'll show it vertically. And you can give by way of cash app. And you see that it pops up and you can give and it goes directly. These are secure ways of giving. Um, so you can give um, like that as well. And also you have PayPal. And PayPal, the same situation. It will go straight to our PayPal payment portal and it's secure. So you can rest assured that it's all secure and all your donations will go directly to Third Day Worship Center. Okay, so let me move back here. And that will be the portion of our website here on the mobile device for our live stream. So there you go. Let me put it into landscape again so you can see. So it would be the video. And literally, all you have to do when the video is live is press that button in the middle and it will play. It will start loading. Um, people have been asking why does it take so long to load and basically it depends on your device, your internet connection and when it comes to sound, make sure your sound is appropriate on your device. So if it sounds low, make sure your device volume is up to the level where you want to hear it and the picture quality is all dependent on your internet connection. So as you can see, I'm on Wi-Fi on my phone and I'm gonna move this forward so you can see the quality of what I'm seeing on my mobile device. Dependent on your Wi-Fi, your internet connection, the device that you're using and make sure it's updated, you will see something clear like this or maybe even clearer if you have a better or up-to-date device. Dependent on your internet speed and your connection, you will experience what we want everyone to experience on our mobile website. Okay, so let me jump out of here. 
And for those who have this on vertical, if you click on anywhere on the video, you will see some options underneath here. And the options that I see on my iPhone are this option here, which you can uh, capture and you could also mirror. If I had this in front of my TV, it would search for my TV and it would make you allow you to mirror what we have from your phone to your television. Let me get out of here. <clears throat> Go back to the main window, and that's our mobile device live stream. Now, let's head over to our desktop version. Desktop version, I recommend this. I recommend the desktop version of our website if you want the full experience. It's easier, and normally, if you have a desktop, you are normally connected directly to the internet, which I suggest if you want to watch a live stream from your home uh, in a more powerful way and you'll get a clearer picture, better sound, everything will function better if you have a direct connection, direct connection. So it looks the same because it basically is the same. Only thing is that on a desktop version, you will see the full picture no matter what aspect you are watching in. So you again, you have the 30 Day Worship Center logo on the left, and now you have your menu, desktop version. And we're talking about live stream, so we're going to go to the live stream. Now, if you look below the live stream, these three options here, you have live stream, on demand, and TBN. On demand, just for those who know about podcasting and you want to hear the audio, the on demand, if you click it, it would take you to our podcast page where you can literally, literally listen to the audio version only of the services, past services, current services, and it will take you back all the way, I believe three years, five years, I think it is, of preaching messages, sermons, and all that good stuff. And all you will have to do is press play, and it will start streaming the audio, whether it's live or this was from last Sunday, and you could listen to the message. The sound quality is more superior than the live stream quality due to the fact that when um, recording on the media team, the audio is directly going into an audio ready capture device. Live streaming is dependent again on the service that we're using. The sound quality may differ, but if you want the best sound, <clears throat> you will always go to on demand for the best sound quality. Now the live stream also, oh, real quick, if you want to look at past episodes, all you have to do is click the banner to the message and it would take you uh, to another portal of our podcast. And then the podcast, you would see the current message. And then if you click Third Day Worship Center Live, it would take you to our archives. And our archives literally, literally goes back years. Powerful messages for you to download absolutely free, absolutely free. Um, that's available to you as well. Let's go back to the live stream portion that's on demand. And we have live stream. Live stream, if you click the live stream button, it will take you directly to our live stream page. And as you can compare to what you saw on your mobile device and compare to what you're seeing now, you see that the quality has upgraded. Um, by default, the quality on the desktop version of a website is superior to that of a mobile device. And simply, you have the same setup and format. You have the options to give on top of the video. Now you see that it's boxed in and it's small, but if you press the play button and make sure this HD is on, if it's not on, you will go and click this settings box. And a lot of you say the quality is not good because maybe you have it set to 144 and the quality will start going bad. 240 is a little better, 360, 480, 720. As for now, for live streaming capabilities on Facebook, where we're streaming from is the best quality. You will press that, it will say HD, and you're good. Now, this is a small screen, and many people don't want to watch it on a small screen like this. So if you scroll down, you will see right next to the HD button, you'll have this box here, and you could click it to enter into 
the full screen view. Volume is over here. So if it's down here, you will literally be hearing it low and you will be wondering what, what's going on with my volume, why is it so low? Make sure it's at a place where you can hear it the best. And Facebook, the logo here, it connects directly to our Facebook page where you can follow us. Also on the top left, underneath the name of the message, following. This will say follow if you're not following. So you would click that if it says follow so that way you could get all the notifications of every time we go live. And that will really help you out um, to make sure you never miss what's going on at Third Day Worship Center. So let me click out of here. And you see how it just goes back to normal. Pause, of course, stops it. And play makes it go again. Pause. Okay. Volume. Direct Facebook. This right here is to go into full screen. Make sure your settings are set to 720p for the best picture and sound quality. And this is pre-recorded, so you'll be able to move it back and forth. Okay. So I hope and I pray that this helps you out. And I'll be making more tutorials soon, but I guess this is the overall version and then I'll be making some without any voiceover at all so that you can see the steps that I do for you to get your best live streaming experience from Third Day Worship Center. So that's all we have. God bless you. God keep you. And remember always that God is good. Peace.